Hello, good day viewers. You are welcome to Chemistry Hangout. I want to believe we are fine today. The 2023 alternative B, that's the qualitative analysis, is what I am here for. Let me first of all say thank you to my subscribers. A lot of people have reached out to me that Chemistry Hangout, we are expecting your alternative B, but you know, sometimes we have difficulty getting all this salt and you know the all these factors that are you know affecting us so but i want to believe we are here now and the practical is going to be what is going to be done so very very important you're welcome once again if you're watching this youtube channel for the first time kindly subscribe to this channel for people that have been part of this channel i want to say thank you thank you for your prayers thank you for your comments i love you guys and if you are just watching please subscribe kindly subscribe because as far as chemistry content is concerned you are in the best place and the best place is chemistry and so i love you kindly subscribe to this channel you can share the video comment and like the video very very important you know i would have released this video you know for a very long time in fact i would have done it orally but you know i'm a fan of chemistry practical because it allows us to understand what chemistry is all about. Yes, chemistry concept is best understood when the practical is done. I've seen a lot of video as regards this thing I want to do, but you know, I love to do it. A lot of them didn't do it practically, but I want to do it practically so that we are going to be sure. And then yeah, he tests the observation, the inferences will be recorded based on what we are seeing, and that's why we are here. Uh, very, very important too for teachers that have reached out to me as regards how to prepare laboratory reagents you know there has been this video how to prepare laboratory reagent and i've helped a whole lot of teachers practically if you're a teacher and you feel that you know you know that video my number is on the screen you can chat me or i'll put a comment i'll put a link in the comment section probably if you don't get the link there then you can chat me to my number but if you get the link there click the link so that you can chat me directly if you need all these videos you know Leco is going to be starting soon and definitely we are still be we will still be asked to prepare a lot of laboratory reagents so i i, I want you to chat me up if you feel you will need those videos so you're welcome again to today's episode and i want to believe that we are going to give you nothing but the best stay tuned so for alternative b qualitative analysis this is what i have for us this is what i have for us g is an inorganic so that's the predicted question you know i've always said that i've always said that on this channel that i am not saying this is the same thing that we actually you know be giving that day but i have, i can assure you that 85 percent of this thing is correct and we are going to meet it like we have you know we have predicted for people that did alternative a the qualitative analysis you know a whole lot of them we are calling me to say it was the exact you know it was the exact prediction but sometimes it might not be the exact but from experience looking at what they gave us and you know trying to do our own analysis we we'll come out with a near you know a near question to what we'll be giving on that day and that's what we are here for so let's quickly start Let's quickly start. So, G is an inorganic salt. Carry out the following exercises on G. Record the observations and identify the gas involved. State the conclusion you draw from the result of each test. Then these are the things we'll be doing. So, without wasting much of our time, I don't want us to waste, waste our time. You know that for every qualitative analysis, we must have our test, okay? We must have our observation, okay? And we must have our inference very important must have our inference so from the table okay so so let's get started put all of g because i said g is an inorganic salt so put all of g in the test tube and add about 10 centimeter cube of water so in your various centers you should be giving all this this is my water okay this is my lime water this is my this is my lime water this is my sodium hydroxide this is my dilute acl all will be labeled in your center should be labeled in your center so that you don't you know don't mix them up so very quickly they said put all of c but let me just put a whole lot of c here okay put all of c in a test tube let me just put okay so let me say this is the C. This is the G rather. This is the G. Okay, this is G. 
and they said you should have 10 centimeter cube of this water. You can just use your discretion to do that. So this is my water. So I'm adding this. Okay. So after adding this, very important, you shake. So, and I've always said that, you know, I, I think if you have been watching my video, I will always tell you when you do qualitative analysis like this, very important, when you dissolve a particular salt in water, you know, you shake thoroughly and wait, very important, so that you see the outcome, because there are some salt, you know, when you wait for some, when you shake them, okay, they will dissolve, and when you now leave them for some time, they will still settle down which makes them insoluble. So if you do any salt, very important, you have to wait for some time. Look at this. Look at the outcome of this, very important. You see, I'm seeing a soluble salt, but let's still wait, don't let us guess. Let's still wait, very important, so that we can get it right. So we get it right, very, very important. So we shake thoroughly and let me wait for some minutes. So while I wait for some minutes, very important, let's still go through the question. So they said put all of Gila's what you have done in the test tube and add about 10 centimeter cube of this water. After that, we test the solution with litmus paper, okay, and divide the solution into two portions. You can see, to the first portion, add 5 centimeter cube of the base here, test with litmus paper, and bubble the gas above into light water. So, all those ones are what we do. Can you see what I told you? Can you see that now? You can see it's becoming clearer so that you'll be able to record the right observation. Very important, yes. You'll be able to record, if you look at this now, very soluble, a colorless solution is formed and it is very soluble. So can we do that? Very important. The test, we have G. Guys, please follow the, the numbering or the letters, very important. So this is A. Okay, so we have G. The sample, the sample G plus what did they give us there? And about plus distilled water. Sample G plus distilled water. So when we added distilled water, can you see very clear now? Very clear. Soluble, that means it dissolves to give a colorless solution. Can you see very clear? So, so G dissolves in water. To what? To give a colorless solution. So, and what is the inference? If it dissolves in water, then we can say G is soluble. Soluble. In what? In water. You can see very clear. Very clear. So, the last step we should test with litmus paper. Still A, you know, still A. So, I can say plus. Litmus paper now. Plus litmus paper. So since they did not specify in the question, you can see they just said litmus paper. So we are going to test with blue and we are going to test with red to see the outcome. So this is blue. So let's see in blue. Let's see in blue. You can see it's not changing, it's neutral to blue. That's in red. In red. You can see it's changing to blue. You can see not sharp, but it's that is slightly acidic. You can see that it's changing to blue. Red to blue. So we can add that. Plus litmus paper, it turns red. Litmus paper blue, right? It turns red litmus paper blue. So if it turns red litmus paper, solution solution G is alkaline, and you should know the reason why solution G is alkaline. The reason is because it turns red litmus paper blue. So solution G is alkaline. So what's the next thing we need to do? To the first portion. Add 5 cm cube of dilute ACS. So that would be A, Roman figure 1. To the first portion, add 5 cm cube of dilute ACL. So let's divide this into 2 because they ask us to divide into 2. Okay? 
into two. So let's, this is the first question. So we have dilute ACL. Let me bring, I have lime water here. Of course, you'll be giving, you might be giving that to your center, but if you are not giving, you should know it because it's a confirmatory test for this very particular gas. So this is my lime water. Let me just have, let me have little. We have this lime water here. Let me put it here. So this is lime water. So, so let's see, just watch. Watch now. You can see this is evanescence. Let's test. Let's moist it. I put it in water so that the reaction will be faster. So any gas evolve. Let's see the evanescence again. So when the gas is coming, we can just you can see that. Okay, so that you can see. Changing the blue to red. Then this is my lime water. Let me just bubble before the gas will escape. Let me just put a little of it to see. Okay, let me add. You can see. Can you see? Let me add little so that it will be obvious. Let me add, let me add this. Let me put more of this. I just want it to be obvious, very obvious. You can see? This is my lime water. Can you see it? Can you see the difference? You can see, this is colorless. This is milky. You can see this. Look at the lime water that I used, colorless. But because a gas is, the gas that is evolving here is bubbled into this place. You can see it. You can see the difference. Can you see it now? So very important. What is our? You can see it. You can see. So, what is our our reference now? From here to the first portion. So I say first portion. First portion plus five centimeter cube of dilute. ACL. Don't forget the ACL is aqueous. So the first thing we saw, evanescence. That's the escape of gas. So there is evanescence. Evanescence occur. And you can perceive the gas. How do you perceive it? Just swave like that. So evanescence occur. Colorless and odorless gas. Can you see that now? Evanescence occur, Abby, a colorless and odorless gas. You know, I tested it with blue litmus paper, so it turns red, which you can see that on blue litmus paper red. Okay, so if it turns blue litmus paper red, because a lot of gas, of course, the reason why I will not quickly record the phrase is because a lot of gas. When they are, you know, when they are evolved like that, evanescence will always occur. So, but the what I'm particular about here is the blue, body blue litmus paper red. So I can say the gas is acidic. Do you see that now? Now, for me to now confirm, you know, look at it. You can see. Can you see that? Very, very obvious. You can see that now. It's milky now. Can you see that? So, and now evanescence occur, colorless and odorless gas with blue. It was prepared. You know, the person is now saying bubble gas evolved into lime water. Even though they did not tell you to bubble it into lime water, there must be a confirmatory test for this gas that is evolved. So I can just say plus lime, okay, plus lime water. So what happened? Tons lime water, okay, milky. You can see that now. And the only gas that can turn lime water on it is CO2. So CO2 gas is what is confirmed. So this gas that showed evanescence, that is colorless and odorless, and which turn gas, which turn blue litmus paper red is the CO2 gas. Why? Because there is a confirmatory test that is turning lime water on it. So if you turn lime water on it, the CO2 is confirmed. We have confirmed CO2. So let's see the second one. It's B, the more figure one. Test observation and inference. So, uh, 
let me put the test this will be the observation so build on my figure one what did they ask us they said to the second portion can you see so this is the number this, this will be the number then that will be second portion plus what second portion add sodium hydroxide add sodium hydroxide aqueous then they said it's the resulting solution so plus it let's see that because with this thing they gave us it means the sodium hydroxide will not be that active if you do not eat it so when you eat it then we get what we want to get so because i'll be eating it so this is the Okay, this is the salt. So, okay, let me put a bit of it. That's the second portion now. You can see the lime water very obvious. So, and that's what we have recorded. So, because we are going to be eating it. Let me hold it here. Okay. So let me switch on this gas. There's my matches. Please help me with the matches. Okay. So So that we can just carry out the eating ones. Okay, just let it be a mind like that. Okay. So this is my sodium hydroxide. You can see. Add sodium hydroxide. You might not really see anything in the second portion, but you might not really see anything. So we need to heat it. So when you eat it, then we can perceive the gas that is evolved and we can test with litmus paper. So let's see. So we we'll eat it. Okay, look at it. If you look at it, you see the gas is, is evolving now. The gas is evolving. So you can just swell. Wow, that's even if you are familiar with chemistry practicals, you should understand where something is a choking smell. I think I've exhausted my red litmus paper because if it has a choking smell, then you should know the gas. If it's a choking smell, that's an ammonia gas, okay? And if I still have my red litmus paper available, if I test it, it will, it will change it to blue to confirm the, the ammonia solution. But let me, I, I will still show you something here to confirm that it's ammonia. I will show you to confirm that this ammonia gas from the smell. To confirm that it's ammonia gas. Okay, let me show you this. You know, because the question says, the question says, I bring a glass rod deep in conch ACL close to it. So, since I don't have a glass rod, I just my concern, the stopper of my conch ACL. So, let the gas evolve again, then I'll go and put it very close to my, the stopper of a conch ACL. Then you see, okay? I want it to bubble very well so that. Okay. Now look at it. Can you see it now? We call this a white dense film. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see the white dense film? Can you see? This is a confirmatory test for ammonia gas. Very important. You can see that now. So, so if you put your your red litmus paper, it will still change it to blue. And I've even done the confirmatory test here. So from there, I can say, let me off this. Okay, so from here, second portion plus sodium hydroxide plus heat. What was the first thing we saw? The gas with a choking smell, okay? Choking smell evolved. Can you see that? Which turns red litmus paper blue. You know, I was not able to test it with red litmus paper because I've exhausted my red litmus paper. But I confirmed the gas with what with my 
you know, concentrated ACL, the stop of my concentrated ACL. So, if this is a gas with a choking smell, a bulb, we we'll turn red leaf first paper. From this, I can say ammonia gas. You know, ammonia gas is sorry, ammonia gas as an H3 is present. This you see that now plus you know plus here that is like a glass rod deep in ACL. So I can just say glass rod deep in ACL. That's why I, I had to use the stopper of my concentrated ACL. So from here, plus glass rod deep in ACL, what did we have? We saw a white dense film. You can see that a white dense film. And if you see this, then it means that ammonia gas is what is confirmed. That's a confirmatory test for ammonia. That's all. That's all. So, with that, my conclusion for this, I can write a conclusion for it. Because from here, you know, they were stating state the conclusion you draw from the result of each test. So, I can write a conclusion. So, since the gas here is what? The gas confirmed here is CO2. And the gas confirmed here is, is NH3. Look at that. So, from that, I can say that. So I can say sample, I can say sample G is, is ammonium carbonate. I can, I can infer that. Why? Because if it is ammonium gas, then it will be liberated from NH4 plus. Can you see that? If it is ammonium gas, it will be liberated from this NH4 plus. And if it is CO3, if it is CO2 gas, it could be liberated from CO3 to do you get that for CH3, you know, something like that? So I can infer that this, this might not actually write this, but I'm just, you know, stating a conclusion that since the gas here is CO2 and the gas here is ammonia, then I can conclude that sample G that they gave me is ammonia carbonate. So you can always, some, some of the questions might tell you that you should state a conclusion from your inference and your observation. So you can always state this. But from this, our analysis, it means that solution G is ammonium carbonate, and that's it. So we cannot get more than all this. We cannot get more than all this, and that's a practical way to demonstrate the qualitative analysis. So that is that for that. So if you are just watching the channel for the very first time, you can see this is one of the channels that can help you to grow as far as chemistry is concerned. So do well to subscribe, to like, to share the video. And very important again, for teachers that are watching this, this very particular video i've said that before at the beginning that the video training of how to prepare laboratory reagent is much more still available so if you're a teacher you feel that you need those reagents to grow your practical knowledge as far as chemistry is concerned you can chat me up using that very particular number on, on that screen so for students that are doing alternative b this is just what you should be expecting on that line i can tell you that if you are able to go through all what you have seen on this channel today then you should not have problem with the qualitative analysis for your alternative b so for people that are my subscribers already i want to still thank you for the comments for the prayers for those kind words you guys are awesome you're wonderful and we will not stop giving you the best on this channel so till we meet again please take your time to practice this if you have not seen the titration the i posted it's for alternative b i've posted the titration i've done that i've posted it on the channel this is the qualitative analysis you can go and watch that i wish you success in your exam so this is chemistry anger thank you